Okay, for the first lesson, we are going to focus on inputting our chords. So, you'll be given this chord chart uh, during the lesson. And basically what it is, I've just gone through a whole heap of EDM tracks and found the chord progressions they use. So you guys can apply them to your um, compositions. Now just note, if you see these chords that have uh, two chords in them with a dash in the middle, that means there's just two chords in the bar. So you can elect how you use them, but generally these chord progressions finish with two chords or you know, have two chords within those bars. So there's only actually two that have those, but I thought I'd just throw them in because they do add uh, some cool flavor to your pieces. All right, I'm gonna use this one for this exercise. So let's imagine, oh, well, if it's the, the one chord is a lowercase, that means it must be a minor key, okay? So it's C minor, A flat major, because that is the six, the A flat is the six of uh, C minor. Then it's got the four minor of C minor, which is F minor. And then we have B flat major, which is the seven, and that's a major chord of C minor. So we're going to input those chords uh, really quickly now, so we can use them in a composition. So I'm going to come back to Ableton, and I'm going to press. Uh, well, I'm going to highlight four bars, and I'm going to press Control Shift M, and insert a new MIDI clip. Okay. Now I'm going to set the grid to one bar. So what this does is when I click in a note, uh, it will basically stretch it out for the whole bar. Anything you set the grid to, uh, when you double click a note in, it sets it to what the grid is, okay? Before we start, I'm just gonna add massive to this track so we can hear the notes as they're clicked in. I'm just gonna close that for now, double click back on the track so we can see the MIDI notes again, and I'm gonna start. Okay, so our first chord was C minor, so let's put that in. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. C, E flat, G, and stretch that out. Again, I'm going to change the grid to one bar so I can stretch it out fully. Uh, next one was F, sorry, A flat major. Okay, C, A flat, E flat. Okay, cool. Next chord was the four minor, which is F minor. F, A, and C. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see the MIDI notes. Okay, and the last chord was the seven major which was B flat, so B flat has an F in it, it has a D and it has a B flat. So again, I'm using smooth voice leading. If you're not sure, input these into Hookpad and uh, they'll show you the smooth voice leading. Um, head to hookpad.com, I think it is, or just search it in on Google if you're not sure how to get to it and it's a cool resource for you to use. Okay, so now if I play this. Now those chords are a little bit slow for my liking. Now most EDM music is around the 128 to about 140 DPM, BPM, sorry. Um, so, it's a little bit faster. Cool, and I want you to drag out this chord progression so it goes for 16 bars. So you can see the 16 start there. And this is where our drop is going to begin, okay? So in the drop, we're basically gonna use the same chord progression. So if we right click, and press duplicate, we've got another 16 bars, which is perfect because we want our drop section to go for 16 bars also. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a more interesting rhythm to this chord progression uh, in this second half here after the um, bar 16. So if we look on the sheet that you'll be given, uh, we've got some kind of very common rhythm patterns that are used in EDM style music. So what are we gonna do is I'm gonna give you an example. So I'm gonna put in uh, number two. So we're gonna crotch it, crotch it tied to a quaver, quaver tied to another quaver with a quaver on the end. So, let's change up this chord progression to make the rhythm a little bit more exciting. Now, I'm gonna set this to quavers, okay? And I'm just gonna press, uh, start kind of chopping up, I'm gonna start chopping up these uh, chords to kind of fit that rhythm. So here we go, there's a crotchet. Now, I've highlighted these by dragging the box around it. If I hold down Control, click and drag, I can duplicate the chords, which is a real handy trick. So now if I bring this across, okay, that's the quaver tied, because that's the eighth note. All right, now I'm just going to input his next one, stretch it out. And there we have a uh, chord progression or the rhythm pattern that we're trying to use from two applied to our chord progression. So now I need to quickly go through and do this to all of the notes, so uh, all of the chords. So just bear with me for a second while I do that. All right, stretch this one out. And just double click these last ones in. You get really good at working uh, in Ableton after a while. You get really fast with changing chords around and things like that. 
and coming up with a little shortcut. Just put notes in. And again. Crotch it tied to a quaver so it stretches out a little bit. Uh, two quavers tied together. And a quaver on the end. So now, if we listen to our chord progression with our added rhythm, this is what it sounds like. Right, as opposed to our first 16 bars, the chords where we just use semi-briefs, this is what it sounds like there. So that's basically what you need to do in this lesson. You need to find a chord progression, input the chords just using semi breves or minims if you choose one of those uh, chord progressions with uh, two chords in a bar. And then duplicate that chord progression and apply the rhythm groupings from this page uh, to your chord progression to make a more driving rhythm. Okay, let's get to it. Once you've finished, uh, you can play around with some different uh, sounds to put over your chord progression. So for example, I'm a big fan of the lead that's big saw chords. So now if I select that one by double clicking after choosing in the browser, it should sound like this. So now you can go around and uh, yeah, just have a look at some different uh, synth sounds and find something that you like and works with your composition.